Hey guys, Mega here. So in this video I'll show you why some people's sound effects go from this to this so from a clean version to a distorted version and why it is like that. So let's let's imagine you, you are working on a video game or you want you need to create some sound effects. Um, this is obviously a grenade explosion, so uh, so you want it to be loud and you know it, it needs to be standing out because it's loud So I, I don't have any background noises right now. So I just put uh, a little rock recording I did a couple of years ago as a b background noise level, okay? Now here's what come what happens if the grenade comes in That's fine, that's okay, you can clearly hear the grenade. But note here that the volume of the background is about minus 12 decibels, it's a lot, a lot quieter than full scale. So what happens sometimes is people collect sound effects and they, they are in love with one specific sound effect and they want it to be louder than the others, so they crank up the volume on the sound effect. Um, this over here is the same track as below, but with uh, the volume is raised by a lot, as you can see in the waveform as well. So people are in love with their sounds and they mean, man, this vehicle needs to be louder, this uh, conversation needs to be louder, the footsteps need to be louder, and they make them super loud, but then they need to create a new grenade again. Why? Because as you will hear, the grenade that used to be clean like this won't be as audible anymore. compared to this. The grenade is much quieter, so what do you do now? Well, one option is you raise the volume of the grenade sound itself, which is what I did here in this upper track. So this is pretty extreme, so watch your... Uh, check it, you should be listening to this on headphones anyway. This is, this is the sound by itself, it's gonna be super loud. So this is really loud, right? So together with the mix, it should sound um, just all right. I mean, it should be louder than the mix anyway. Yes, this is super loud, but here's the problem. Players will think at some point that this is just too loud. So they will lower the volume. In this case, it's uh, 15 decibels. And you will end up with something like this. In direct comparison, you see that this has l much less detail. This is just square waves um, compared to this down, uh, lower sample here. Um, so they've lowered the volume and this was about 10 decibels and they end up with something like this. Okay, if you compare this to the original sounds. I don't know about you, but this sounds much cleaner to me. Much cleaner, much nicer than the distortion. So what, I'm, what I want to say is here is, is the following, that you cannot go louder and louder and louder forever. At some point, you will end up destroying your audio. Just compare these. This is a square wave signal. This is not good audio, not at all. It's distorted and it's one of the main rules of creating audio, do not distort your audio um, except for when you need it aesthetically. There are distortion plugins, you can mix and distortion it, but this is just, for the sake of volume, this is a bad decision. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to give your files enough headroom so the waves can clearly go up and down and if you find yourself in a situation where your sounds do not cut through or something, you might be in a situation that all of your background noises are too loud, your footsteps, your vehicles. 
your ambient sounds are too loud because in the end of the game uh, at the end of the day the user controls the volume and there's a huge difference i mean some games i play on 20 some games i play on 90. it depends on their uh, volume and it all sounds great well i gotta say the games that are played on 80, uh, on 80 sound better than the ones i played on 10 because they have or 20 because they have uh, less dynamic range less snap but uh, that will be covered in another video okay i hope you know now that it's not good to push your volume too hard all the time at some point you just have to stand still and pull back the volume of the other sounds